You know, the first time I ever saw a fight necklace, I was actually watching uh, Josh Beckett pitch for the Red Sox in the World Series. And I got a friend from a call from a friend that's a quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. And he's like, oh man, you gotta get this necklace, this fight necklace. And, and uh, I'm like, the one the Red Sox guys wear? He's like, yeah, all the throwers, all the pitchers are wearing them. And, and uh, we happen to be just here in Seattle. My wife was uh, with me and she was we out to dinner. And, uh, she just ran by the store and picked them up. And, I really wasn't expecting it to help or work, but it really did. And uh, you know, that's that's when I knew that I was I was lucky to be in Seattle, where where we had a store. Yeah, I think it's very exciting for me to kind of join the professional staff uh, officially. You know, I've been wearing fighting products for a long time, but uh, you know, to join the the Beckets and the Lesters and the Verlanders and those guys, and, um, it's an honor and it's. Uh, you know, something I'm looking forward to. I really use everything from, uh, you know, you'll laugh, but the shampoo, I know, <laughs> but it's great. And, uh, you know, all of it, the stickers, the tape I use, uh, obviously I wear the necklace, the bracelet, the elbow sleeve during training camp. It's uh, it's probably a little obnoxious how much stuff I have and that I wear and I use, but, uh, but it, it really helps. You know, I'll use the stickers and the tape. Uh, I pretty much, you know, wear a necklace all the time. That's the first thing. I definitely shower with it on. Uh, I definitely go out in the water with it on. So it's, uh, it's something that's always there. You know, some people say, you know, well, what's it like? You know, do you put it on and you start like feeling a buzz or anything like that? No, it's not necessarily like that. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have neck stiffness and back stiffness and that kind of stuff. But as a thrower, I just feel like uh, my recovery is better. I feel good the next day. And, uh, you know, the, the only question really that I ever have is if I'm going to wear shoulder pads, I probably don't want to wear a double or triple tornado. You know, I'll probably go with like a single just because it can get, kind of gets stuck in my collarbone, which uh, most people probably don't have that problem. That's, that's one thing I, I consider. You know, ironically, a lot of guys, uh, I didn't have to try to convince them to wear a fight. Some guys would ask what it was, um, and then they'd steal it from me. I'm like, dude, I'm wearing my, it's mine. No, no, it's mine. I'm like, where'd you get it? Oh, uh, okay, I'm just borrowing it. You know, like that kind of thing. Uh, then there's, uh, there's other kind of guys that, um, you know, they may be critical of it at first. Oh, come on, that doesn't work. And, you know, sort of making fun of you, and then the minute they get an injury, you know, they're coming over to you like, hey, uh, you can't even wear that tape for your knee, you know, or whatever. And uh, and then they're hooked, and then they're coming back, you know, time after time after time. It's uh, it's sort of fun. The, usually, the people who uh, who are at my locker or ask questions are coaches. Like, hey, uh, what is that? Can I get it? You know, help me out. And uh, it really, the response has been great. One word, how would I describe the fight? Uh, I think I would go with the word performance. You know, it's, uh, you know, you come into the store here, you look around, and they've thought of everything. And most everything in here is to help people perform better at their sport. And, you know, my sport is football, but there's stuff here for tennis, golf, running, baseball. I mean, pretty much every sport, soccer, uh, and so I think performance, but you know, there's also a cool factor to it, which you know I can't come up with one word for that. But but uh, but maybe that word's just fighting. Um, I love you know I love charity work. I think the the great thing about being a quarterback in the NFL is you get the opportunity to to do charity work. And you know most of the time when you do something, you're trying to give to people, but you really you're receiving way more than you're giving. And uh, you know the thing that comes to mind in a football sense during our season, we have a lot of Make a Wish Foundation kids, and they'll come in and we'll give them a tour of the locker room, we'll let them run on the field with us, we'll outfit them with a jersey and a locker and that kind of thing. And, and uh, you know, a lot of times kids are excited to get hats or cleats or whatever, but uh, a lot of them, they ask for the lime green, you know, fight necklace that, hey, can, do you have any of those? It's like, okay, you know. So uh, it's fun. I think that's, uh, that's one of the bigger thrills that we have. There's some big thrills when you get to play uh, you know, quarterback professionally, but uh, I think having the Make-A-Wish Foundation kids coming too is a, is a thrill. It's an opportunity to, uh, to 
students and just really brighten someone's day. And uh, like I said, in turn, they're, they're really making a difference on us. I don't know. I've never tried that. I need to I need to see if I can handle that. Just so I know I don't have a problem. That'd be a good thing. I can quit if I wanted to. Seriously. <laughs>